the greatest up there about playing, you know, a game like this, and it's kind of probably what everyone envisioned when, when they came here. Yeah. Is that something that is even noticed in the locker room? You know, is that is it? Does it feel different? Does that if that makes sense? Yeah. Um, obviously, Northwestern is a good football team. Um, they're they haven't lost a game yet, and there's a reason for that. And uh, you know, I think we're on a roll. We need to stay on a roll. And uh, it's a very big game for the Big Ten, very big game for Michigan, and very big game for uh, Northwestern. And, uh, big games is what what you came to Michigan to play in. Could go back nine months to when there was that period when you were taking over and a lot of people had to take over there during that void. Mm -hmm. The psychological place that you would have been in then versus where you are at 5-0 and oh here, can, or 4-1 and one rather, mm -hmm. um, can, can you just offer any thoughts on whether that comparison was even imaginable back then? So the mindset uh, that we had in the lo like in the locker room and yeah, at that, that uh, point where, where things like would have been, we're, we're talking about would have been kind of the low point versus yeah, what's, after what's you lose your coach and then you don't know what's happening compared with what you're experiencing right now. Yeah, I mean, I would say the team stayed together very well. Um, definitely a lot of positive vibes just throughout the locker room and everything. Um, with guys coming in on by themselves, um, a very good off season. Um, very good sticking together as as a unit, as a family, and coming in and getting work done every day. Right now, it's very similar. You come in, you stick together. Um, we got a little bit more guidance now. So, um, and Coach Harbaugh, Coach Sturk, and all the coaches have really um, made their impact on all the guys. So, just how you're greeted, how how you're 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 being. Um, Elevated to a degree now by the by the community that was really pretty bruised themselves. Mm -hmm. You must pick up on those differences though too, don't you? Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, um, I don't know how else to describe that other than it's a very good feeling to uh, uh, finally be playing um, the type of football <laughs> that everyone's expecting. Did you expect this type of defense this year? I did. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Based on just what you had coming back. Based on, on the coaches coming in. First three and a half years I was here and. You know, you hate to talk about potential, but um, the guys we have, um, the personnel we have, and the ability that each one of us has. Coach has said that, you know, after a third of the season, uh, no one's a freshman anymore. Your freshman class, a lot of them aren't playing. Uh, but what have you seen from them in practice as far as their progression? Yeah, I think all the coaches do well. Coach Baxter uh, does this really good job on special teams, getting guys out. And, you know, it's not a scout team. You're never playing on a scout team. It's, you're playing football to get better and make the other guy better. And uh, I think, like Coach Harbaugh said, freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. Um, you've been here long enough. You, you know the way. And you know how to uh, um, how to carry yourselves, how to practice, and, and what's going on.